Good morning. Good morning and welcome as we uh, continue our our daily devotions. It is, I believe, Tuesday, right? It is Tuesday. Uh, and time is flying by. Brandy and I were just talking how quickly uh, the time has gone by. It's already the middle of the month. It's the 15th today. And, uh, yeah, where did the month go? Quickly, oh. quickly. Um, the other thing, uh, for those of you who were able to watch or attend worship service this weekend, our reading this morning, uh, we're reading from Colossians chapter 2, beginning with verse 8. Uh, really, again, what a great reminder, as I mentioned in the sermon, that uh, as we're in God's word, he continues to remind us to let go of those things that we just feel like we can't let go of, that somehow we have to earn uh, the release of our sins, as opposed to knowing that God, who is faithful, um, sent his one and only son to suffer and die on the cross, who carried all of our sins, not just most of them, but all of them. So, as I mentioned to you, sometimes uh, we feel like we carry a burden around with us, one or two sins that we just can't let go, even though we know God has forgiven them. I think today is a is a beautiful reminder for all of us that it's time to let those go, uh, to forgive our neighbor as God first forgave us, and to move forward, uh, to move forward in joy in the Lord and, and to shine his glorious light. So let us begin as we always do with our morning prayer. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. All right, well, let us begin in Colossians chapter 2, beginning with verse 8. See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit. According to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily, and you have been filled in him, who is the head of all rule and authority. In him also you were circumcised with a circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of the flesh, by the circumcision of Christ, having been buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the powerful working of God, who raised him from the dead, and you, who were dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made alive together with him, having forgiven us all our trespasses, by canceling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands, this he set aside, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And, and really, there's just so much packed. There's actually even more to this passage in Colossians for our reading this morning. But just to unpack this small section here uh, in chapter, uh, verses 8 through 15, uh, see to it that you that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit. Um, and Paul's really speaking about, you know, it's a great thing to use his human wisdom. We've all been given the mental faculties to think. and um, But when we uh, begin to allow human reason to overshadow God's truth in his word and what God calls us to do, uh, then we've begun following the fools of the world, as it were, uh, who have who have bought into the lies and the deceit of the evil one. And that's just right out of the first verse. I mean, we, we could spend a whole morning just talking about that. But I want to skip on down further as, as God talks about this new covenant that he's given to us, as, as Paul refers to the circumcision. Um, in the Old Testament, as many of you know, uh, circumcision uh, was that... Um, the blood cutting, the cutting of the flesh, and women were under the the circumcision of their husbands or their fathers, and uh, and we were part of God's family through that. And uh, that new circumcision it comes to all of us uh, through the waters of holy baptism. But 
It says, God made alive together with him, having forgiven all trespasses by canceling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. Well, the legal demands uh, for the wages of sin is death. And uh, just thinking about that, that God canceled all that debt, just like we heard this weekend, uh, the unmerciful servant who, who couldn't pay back in a lifetime what he had borrowed from the king. And uh, the king forgave all his debt. Um, but yet, in turn, the servant couldn't forgive someone who owed him just a hundred denarii, just a hundred days wages, something that easily could have been paid off. Um, we just see uh, the beauty there that uh, God has taken everything that we had on the board and he's erased it. And it's gone. It's done. And, and what a beautiful reminder. And I think the other reminder that as we go forward, that we go forth uh, with a forgiving and loving heart towards our neighbors, uh, knowing that everyone that we're in contact with is a sinner. Everyone that we deal with makes mistakes. And they're just like us. They're no different. And so we forgive them. Uh, their trespasses, just as we call upon God to forgive us. So let's go to the Lord at this time in prayer. O oh God, because without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And we also lift up our brothers and sisters up in Rock of Ages. They've put out a call this weekend to a pastor. Uh, we pray that this is the right man that the Lord is calling to serve them into the future. And so uh, we pray for this uh, pastor and his family at this time. And we pray for the members of Rock of Ages. So for all of you, go in peace today and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.